There are plants in this game that are man-made. There are plants in this game that are derived from the same strains that created dinosaurs. And they are horrifying. That's why I said the Redwood test was a success. There is going to be horrible things. Horrible, horrible things that are going to be created by us. Some will eat you, some are a lot less merciful than that, some will melt you, and some will take parts of you away that you didn't know you had, and some things will irreparably change you in ways that you weren't aware was possible, so... So, what you just heard came from Dondi's stream, and it was a giant Q and A stream. Also, hi! Hey guys, I I'm back. I, I took a four day break from YouTube and I kind of just did my own thing and did my own thing because I wanted to take a break, but I'm, I'm back. So <laughs> hi again. I hope you guys are having a good summer for those of you who aren't in school. And if you're back in school, well, I am so incredibly sorry you're in my prayers or whatever you believe in. <laughs> So this video isn't going to follow the normal suit of what you usually see from me. I'm not going to be playing the game this time. This is just going to be all of the Q&A stuff, tons of questions answered, and tons of questions created from said answers. So it's going to be fun either way. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this if you are into the aisle and you enjoy the game in general and want to know what's happening in the future. We have updates on the cannibals and how apparently the cannibal isn't the cannibal or something like that. Carnivorous plants that will eat you and take things out of your body as we just heard about. Just, just, there's just a whole host of things, guys. So hopefully, one, you are notified of this upload. Remember to bell this channel you know subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified because i'm gonna have some big things coming up in the near future i'm gonna resume normal uploads as well so please forgive me for not being around but i'm gonna stop rambling on now i want you guys to watch this let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section i guarantee the devs are going to be reading your comments and i guess taking your feedback into consideration when it comes to things for the aisle and what they've discussed in this q a so without holding off anymore i guess you can you can enjoy that leave a like if you do enjoy the video or you find it informational and helpful man well let's let's get into it is uh my personal opinion is that i would rather over hurt players and then have to compensate and adjust as opposed to not hindering them enough I've also uh, taken into consideration a couple of things such as people who are intentionally trying to uh, get negative affinity. Um, and what can what can you do if you're doing something truly notorious and and you're gaming the system? Um, for instance, I, I had a conversation with Looter about it where we thought if you had negative affinity and you just sat at the bottom of it for a long time, we just turn you albino and we remove all the negative effects. You don't have any positive effects, but you're purely albino. Everyone knows that you're an awful person that's gaming the system, but you don't have any negative effects because it's very clearly obvious that you're gaming the system. And uh, when you die, you just start off with the obvious that you're gaming the system. And uh, when you die, you just start off at the lowest possible affinity again. So. If nothing else, people can immediately see, because uh, it wouldn't be hard for you to become albino again, that you're being a shit gibbon. But I would, I would rather overhurt players, such as uh, messing with their stamina or their food and hunger costs. Um, some of the team hates it, which is why I think it's a great idea, is truly giving people tinnitus uh, and just making it Im impossibly... Annoying. Any news on the dinosaur combat overhaul or ideas that are being thrown around for it? Uh, I can't say yet, but y yeah. Um, the reason I can't say yet is because there's more to go over later. Will the affinity system discourage herbivores from being overly aggressive, such as uh, a herd seeing a carnivore across a giant field and going to murder it? Um... That won't be a problem, and there's a reason that won't be a problem, and I just can't say anything yet. 
But I don't care about herbivores being a problem anymore. Because they won't be a problem anymore. Anyway. We'll get to that one later. Parents be able to pick up their young. I want to say yes, because we started working on something like that. Um, but the difficulty is kind of like saying, all right, well, what what gets to pick up its young? Because a T-Rex could. A T-Rex could just open its mouth, and, you know, a, a small enough child could climb in or could pick it up like a fucking kitten, you know, like one at a time. Um... But then it, it kind of constitutes, oh, well, shit, you're, you're being carried. Um, hmm. Well, I guess you can't grow, because otherwise, you know, what, what happens when someone keeps their babies in their mouth for, like, 30 minutes, and they just grow inside of the mouth? You know, this plethora of, like, fucking, like, five juvenile tyrannosaurs with tails jammed out of mom's mouth starts looking like fucking Cthulhu. Um, but then you've got, like, parasaurs can't pick up their babies. Trikes can't pick up their babies. How is corpse dragging coming along? Uh, we have two solutions left to look at before we decide on a direction for it. It might it might just be ripping guts out and bringing it back to your nest, or just chunks of meat that are in your mouth that you can then drop for someone else to eat. Will new nesting include the ability to steal slash eat eggs from other people's nests? I'm going to say no at the moment, um, mainly because I don't know how quickly looter can do it. It might just be something where it's like, yeah, sure, fine, because it's relatively easy. Because the most important thing to understand is that uh, alongside the nests, it's not just an arbitrary, oh, hey, there's some new models and it's some new, uh, you know, some new animations. It's dinosaurs are all going to have gestation periods for eggs and things of that nature that kind of directly impact their ability to raise young. So... That's a big time yikes on the on on answering maybe because I hate it, um, but it is a maybe. What kind of weapons are planned for tribals to craft and use? Uh, we're actually moving in a slightly RPG route, not not like oh levels, um, but the ability to upgrade your weapons is more of an RPG than anything. Utility, yes. Like if you build a home, you can only build one home. Like you can't you can't build yourself a hut. And then go on the other side of the map and build yourself a hut there. Um, that's just simply not how it works. And certain uh, certain buildings will beha be behind an actual tribe kind of wall. In the sense of, you can't build... Um, uh, what would be a good idea to reference that's not a spoiler nor something that might get cut out? Uh, um, okay, so, um, like a storage house for, for, for food and stuff, like the long house, you know, um, you can't build that by yourself. If they're I mean, called tribals, is there any reference in human history to compare this civilization to? Or are they more a mishmash of multiple different cultures? Are they more primitive or are we looking at the more advanced civilizations of prehistory for reference? That question will be answered later when I oh. when I go into those guys. If tribals can tame dinosaurs, how will that affect the affinity system? Uh, well, being tamed is different than being wild around them. Uh, being tamed kind of negates what could be considered negative affinity. However, the affinity system is primarily created for the rules of dinosaurs involving other dinosaurs as we come across design challenges and the inevitable exploitation by the players uh involving tribals and dinosaurs then we will update affinity to rope in rules with them but right now it's pretty loose um mainly because i didn't want to like start preemptively going oh yeah here's all these rules for dinosaurs and tribals because nine times out of ten you can't predict what the players are going to do right um so ikinema has something known as hit targets which allow you to Basically, it would it would be prefixed on the dinosaur's uh, jaw to try and land an attack or a bite on uh, a pre-designated part of an animal, such as the head, the neck, um, the body, the the hips, etc. Basically, whatever's closest to it, um, so it'll look like it's genuinely trying to attack a certain body part of the animal. However, we haven't experimented with it, so I can't tell you if it will work or it won't work. 
I tell you this much, Ikinima is not fucking set up for dinosaurs, and it's a bitch and a half already, so I don't know. But if I can get dinosaurs looking really good with walking, there's no reason I can't get it looking pretty good with bite, uh, hit targets. Will tribals be able to pick up mercenary items like guns, trackers, and so forth? Pick them up? Yeah. Sure. Uh, make them work. Mm, not so much. What happened to the idea of Apexes being made non-playable and only AI to stop the fear of nothing problem? Um, nothing stopped it, actually. Uh, we were just working on Carnivore AI, which is like 95% done or something, according to Brandon. I mean, like, the, the, the Carnivore AI runs around and eats shit, uh, which is what it's supposed to do. So, I think the only thing that's really stopping it is, uh... Well, for, for lack of better words, pushing trees out of the way. Will Utah be able to pounce almost every dino? Uh, I actually have to ask Brandon, because I don't know if he's trying to go with sockets or he's trying to, like, basically just do a dynamic attachment to a mesh. I I don't know. I, I can tell you that, I mean, like, if nothing else, we can put a fucking socket on every dinosaur. It's not impossible. Is collision still going to be a thing? Yeah, um... Brandon has done like uh what is it a, a multi it was a multi collision mesh or some shit. Basically, uh we were trying to see if we could get it to where like heads and tails and shit will collide with the terrain as well. Not just IK, but like hey, you can't you can't just be right on top of this dinosaur because if it's, you know, eight feet long and it turns around and it smacks you in the head, it's just gonna fucking send you spiraling all over the floor. So uh Last I checked, that doesn't work out, so there, there'll be simplified collision. Since flyers are, if at all, going to be added in as AI, will they serve any gameplay purpose aside from possibly food? Yeah, like vultures. They're visual indicators to show where things are at. At the same time, they'll also consume bodies, so, you know. You leave a body out for too long, aside from just having velociraptors, you can have pteranodons fly down and eat food. Easy peasy. Plus, they're always nice. Flying around. When nesting is completed, we'll be able to hatch an entire clutch of eggs simultaneously. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you gestate several eggs and you lay them all at once, I mean, there's nothing that stops you from doing that. You can lay one egg at a time, two eggs at a time, however many up to your max capacity um, at, any given, at any given time that you want. That doesn't matter. What kind of equipment will a mercenary start out with? <sighs> nothing good. Um... For the the unfortunate that you'll start with stuff that uh, can't be looted, mainly because if you die with it, we don't want to kind of like over what would be the what would be the easiest way to explain it. We don't want to oversaturate the server with like items that exist on the ground that no one's looted because it's all like starting the, stuff. The the starting off uh, we're looking at probably um, just a flashlight and a knife at best because. A, a flashlight and a knife, you know, you, you don't really need to loot it. I was gonna say, I can imagine spawning with like a Makarov from like Armor 2, like, Armor 2, the back in the old nope. DayZ mod. No nope. fucking gun, but would lose bullet velocity massively whenever you shoot a bush. Well, yeah, but the, the issue is giving anyone any type of uh, bullets is that like the, the right bullet in the right spot can kill someone oh, yeah. that's a dinosaur. So, it's different if you're fighting other people with macros and only other people with macros. But since you're not, and you're, and you're capable of shooting at dinosaurs, um, that idea is a bad time. Is a system that was said that was being worked on a bit ago still being worked on, or is it scrapped? Um, it's not scrapped, but it's also not being worked on. Um, and then the reason that it's not being worked on is Jake was filling out the last of the gameplay needs for the animals, um, with the exception of one thing that he has to put in that's related to dinosaurs, um, the, the official tribal model is the next thing on his plate. And, uh, well, you can guess why the official tribal model is on his plate. And I'm sure you all know why I have a dinosaur modeler working on a tribal model. Speculation's fun, isn't it? Will tribals use any kind of utility items for weapons, i.e. An, an atlatl for an increase in range and damage for uh, throwable spears, 
as well as quivers for increased arrow capacity. Yes. They 110% will. Have a way to combat the cannibals in an effective way. I'd imagine guns, but uh, I'm interested to hear your answer on it. Um, saying guns is accurate because they are relatively fragile when it comes to small metal objects being hurtled hundreds of meters a second at their body, as are most people and things. And despite the fact that they look freaky, um, when it comes to body mass, they don't have much to offer. So it's not really hard for, you know, any real weapon to just hit a fucking vital organ and demolish them. The, the thing about them is speed. And that's all it really is. Speed and scare factor. Um, for instance, easiest way is King, King Jafad when it comes to dealing with that fucking alien. Can you shoot that alien and kill it? Absolutely, and it's super easy. But when it appears out of nowhere and makes you shit yourself, um, it, it, it doesn't matter because you're too terrified. All I want to see is that, uh, do you remember that watch suggestion I made a while back where it's kind of like I Am Legend, where it's like, you know, it starts ringing when it's about to become nighttime. Yeah. You're just thinking to yourself, oh shit. Well, you remember that there is there is the, the idea that I very, very thoroughly said I partially have lifted from Trespasser, which is having a, an, an object that is connected to the replicator that alerts you when there is something carnivorous nearby if it's not a natural uh, spawn. Yeah. Yeah, so... Ooh. Yeah. Someone wants to know about the combat mechanics for tribals versus tribals. Um, it's I know it's going to start out simple, and it will remain simple for quite some time, which is just quite literally beating each other to death with, with objects. Blocking, I'm not even trying to put into the game yet. Not to say that there won't be blocking, I just... There's a lot of shit going on. Will tribals be able to put armor slash weapons onto tame dinosaurs? I mean, as a pack mule, or as like, oh hey, I'm gonna put, you know, a bunch of spears sticking out of my animal like it's fucking Mad Max. Probably the spears, Mad Max. No, I, I have, I, I don't plan for that to occur, and the reason that I don't plan for that to occur is because of just how horrifyingly strong that can be, and I can think of at least ten fucking problems for that shit, like right off the bat. Just a small little Utah Raptor with, like, a lance attached to its nose. Well, I mean, yeah, I think about it. Like, a, a, a 650 uh, kilo Raptor while running into someone already sucks. Scrolling up. Will uh, there be any dinosaurs that multiple tribals can mount at the same time? Oh, of course. You really think only one person can fit on a T-Rex? Or a... Brachiosaurus? No, sir, no, sir! Mm, okay, sorry. Continue. Who, who is in control of, like, uh, while riding a dinosaur? Is the dinosaur in control or the tribal? Uh, it depends on uh, if it's player-controlled. If it's player-controlled, the player is in control. Uh, the rider is not in control. The rider can simply enforce where they want them to go. With a, It applies a slight amount of damage and forces the direction of which the rider is looking upon the player. Who is the dinosaur, and then the Zot. There you go. But uh, would it be possible for tribals to ever subdue a strain? No. There's, there's simply... They, they're not designed to be dealt with in that manner. So, no. Um, it, it just wouldn't happen. Reference to an old tribal concept art piece. Uh, will mammoths ever be a thing? Maybe. I, ge I guess I could start showing some stuff. I guess I'll go ahead and... Punch, have you seen this yet? Oh. Let me let me do a quick share screen with you. Alright, can you see? Yep. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> the monsters... Oh. The monsters are coming and they're not all... They're not all fauna. Oh. There are plants in this game that are man-made. There are plants in this game that are derived from the same strains that created dinosaurs. And they are horrifying. That's why I said the Redwood Test was a success. 
there is going to be horrible things. Horrible, horrible things that are going to be created by us. Some will eat you. Some are a lot less merciful than that. Some will melt you. And some will take parts of you away that you didn't know you had. And some things will irreparably change you in ways that you weren't aware was possible. So... There, there's that information. These big bastards on the left. You are not playing as the Mayan style boys. You aren't playing as fucking Apocalypto or Stomping Land ripoffs. You're playing as these horrifying freaks of fucking nature that are, for the most part, relatively human looking. But the tribals and the cannibals are the same thing. I have referred to the creatures on the right hand side as cannibals for a very, 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 very long time for you all to assume a certain method of unlocking that will never, ever, ever happen. The fucking creatures on the right are a separate entity of which you can get that I will not spoil, but they aren't called cannibals. And if I tell you what they are, of which you will have to find out from the game, and then you will get them, and you will be able to do horrible things to everybody. And no, Slim Boy doesn't get chainsaws. He will never get chainsaws. So, there you go. That's the- when it comes to having nothing but time on your hands, and a whole lot of death, and worshipping something that brings you back repeatedly. I mean, wouldn't you build giant sacrificial temples to please it? I mean, I would, but maybe that's just me. And of course, there's the helipad, so you have some idea of scale. And a little life preserver, because, you know, nice things. We must have them. How can you just have aquatic studies without an aquatic research? But yeah, I'll be around. And of course, you can't do aquatic researches without aquatic pens. You need to be able to hold stuff. And you need a lagoon that's like Jurassic World, but effective, and also not easily movable, kind of like between Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, because Colin Trevorrow and J.A. Biona don't know what continuity is. What a bad time that might be. So we just have, you know, aquatic pens. But for hey, for funsies, here's a real-sized mosasaur inside of the pen, because, you know, it's not the size of a Seattle Space Needle that's super buffed up just so it can kill an Indominus Rex at the end of the film. Because you wrote yourself into a corner when it came to the good normal dinosaurs versus the big evil clone. But it's okay, we wrote this for 12 year olds, and if you turn off your brain you'll enjoy it, because it says Jurassic on it and looks kind of like the first movie's logo. Alright, so now on to the semi-continuity part, which is us figuring out how people are going to get around the damn island when it comes to how, you know, bizarrely shaped it is. So we've started coming up with the road system and how we can implement, you know, creeks and water and stuff, which we'll get to, I promise, I swear, by baby Jesus, we'll do it. Hold on. Oh, gosh, it's almost unloading. Re. But anyway, this is the scale of road that you can expect, which, by the way, if you kind of casually walk on as a dinosaur, as you can see, is very open, you'll just get shot. Not exactly, you know, the, the high tide of things I would suggest doing, but I'm sure someone will because no one ever listens to me in the first place. It's understandable. And of course, I'm sure you're wondering, hey, what's that giant space odyssey thing in the background? Well, bitches, let me tell you about that space odyssey thing in the background and how big that motherfucker actually is. Because when you put it next to a hypo, it still looks like a baby. And there's a good old reason for these big fucking towers. You wanna know what it is? Fuck you, I ain't saying but now you know that it's coming. It certainly looks formidable. Like, I don't know, a large fucking cage. But, eh, I'll know where that goes and I'll know what they're doing with it. But I do know this, 
InGen totally wasn't on the planning board, because otherwise this shit never would have gotten done. Cages kind of insinuate you want to move stuff. Sometimes you just got to keep shit in one spot, but still allow it to move around. Because, you know, I'm not saying this is the inside of a boat by any means, because it's not. But, you know, it's the inside of something. I'm not sure where this is going to go. You can guess. I won't tell you, though, with a removable roof. Can you guess why there's a removable roof? It might be because shit sometimes has to, you know, be moved by means other than ground transportation. But I can't tell you what goes in here because that would just spoil too much. But definitely a location in the game that's got to happen. It's a lot smaller too, so that's nice. Will there ever be any sense system on bodies rather than just corpses? We have to figure out how. We actually ran into an issue with that, but we, we definitely want to make it a thing that, that works. Will it be possible to drag your prisoners while riding a dino? I mean... For a while, they'll probably die though. But can you nail people to a cross? So I suppose it's a question for effigies and shit. We're debating on whether or not we want to allow a situation of appropriate torture. Um, because I don't, I don't know if we want to allow people to do that while they're alive or make it a dead only thing like effigies. Um, Cause I mean, you could put someone in a cage or you could just jam their ass up on a cross. What do you think people would want to do more? And that is it for all of the fancy Twitch stuff. We are a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but we won't be doing anything with Rexy today because the video is basically over. That was a lot of information to take in. And I hope there were some key points you guys thought were cool. I'm kind of interested to see this whole taming and riding system for tribals. I think that's going to be cool. And I also think these whole the whole idea of carnivorous plants and, and bad things like that, that is pretty cool too. What do you guys think is the coolest upcoming feature in the aisle? I'm getting way better FPS down here than back up there. That's weird. Oh, they've also added a new lighting system apparently or something. I'm not sure if it's in the game yet or not because um, I haven't played in a while, so I'll have to play through it and see the cycles. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section about everything you've seen in this video. The Q&A is over. Hopefully you had your question answered. I think the idea of bringing gore from bodies rather than dragging bodies all throughout the land is a much better alternative. Three Serratos. Oh, apparently Serato's getting something too. I don't know what yet though. Oh, the hell? Is that another Serato? Is that a Serato? What is that? Oh, they're all running away from me. Oh, you poor guys. Look at him, look at him swimming. Look at him swimming. Oh, you poor guy. Oh, you poor guy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're dead. You're dead. You died. Look at his fighting too. He just bit. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you poor guy. Look, he's trying to bite me. You little whippersnapper. You look at a little rascal. I could kill you right now if I wanted to. You would be dead. You would be dead by now. I'm gonna teabag you and break the server's rules. That's what I'm gonna do. Take that. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Uh, I could destroy you. Oh, man, that's funny. All right, guys, that is it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you. <laughs> this poor guy. Oh, he probably crapped himself. Oh, man. In the next video.